In this video, we'll learn to add, subtract, multiply and divide decimals up to two decimal places. So I'll start with adding. If I have £2.35 and £4.80, I would add these starting from the right and making sure I've got them lined up so that the decimal points are lined up so that pounds are under the pounds the 10p or the tenths are under each other and the pennies or the hundreds are under each other so that would be 5p that would be zero and that should be one under the other so we get five and zero mix five three and eight is eleven so one down and one carried over put the decimal point in line with the other two and we got two three and the four make seven so this would be seven pounds fifteen pence if it was money but sometimes we might have to add different types of decimals so let's say i want to add 10.3 with 1.45 notice again the decimal is under the decimal so that we've got the digits with the same value under each other if you have no digit at the end there then you could add a zero because it doesn't make a difference so 0 and 5 is 5 3 and 4 is 7 0 and 1 is 1 and there we go so this is what these two add up to so the thing to remember here was to line the numbers up so that we have the decimal points aligned then subtraction so let's say I want to do 10.3 minus 4.56 so again lined up we have no digit here so I can fill it with a zero six taken away from the zero we can't do so we need to borrow one from the three so the three becomes a two and this becomes a ten ten take away six is four now we need to take away five from the two which means we've got to borrow one from the ten to make it nine and this becomes twelve so twelve take away five is seven nine take away four is five so five point seven four and let's try another one so if we have 4.03 take away 1.2 so again there is no digit here so i can fill it with a zero three take away zero is three zero take away two would give a negative number so i'll borrow one from the four so three this becomes ten ten take away two is eight three take away two take away one is two so 2.83 so what is important is lining up the numbers so that we have the digits of the same value under each other so the easiest way to do it is look at the decimal points if they lined up you're absolutely right and then start working with them in the same way that you do with whole numbers now let's have a look at a multiplication so I'll try and multiply decimal numbers so if we have 4.3 times 5.8 so what we do is that we completely disregard the decimal points to begin with so i would go three eight times three which is 24 so i'll put four down and the two carried over and i will then go 
8 times 4 is 32 and the 2 is 34. So now I will multiply, put a zero down, just like we do with whole numbers. 5 times 3 is 15, so 5 down and 1 carried over. 5 times 4 is 20 and the 1 is 21. Now add these up together. So we got 4 and 0, 4, 4 and 5, 9, 3 and 1, 4, 2. So there we have them. Now the final thing before moving on, it would be checking how many decimal places do the two numbers that we multiplied have. So the first one, 4.3, has one decimal place, meaning one digit after the decimal point. And the second number also has one decimal point. So I'm going to add them up. One decimal point there and another one here makes two. So I'm going to give this number two decimal places. So we go one, two, and the decimal point goes right there. 24.94. And let's do another example. Let's say we've got 4.36 times 5.82. So 2 times 6 is 12. So 2 down and 1 carried over. 2 times 3 is 6 and the 1 is 7. 2 times 4 is 8. Now we finish with this, add one decimal point. We go 8 times 6 is 48. So I'll put 8 down and 4 carried over. 8 times 3 is 24 and the 4 is 28. So 8 and 2 carried over. 8 times 4 is 32 and the 2 34. Now we're moving down again, so now not just one zero we add, but we add two zeros. Because there are two digits after the five, which we're going to multiply now. So five times six is 30, so three down and three carried over. Five times three is 15, and the three, 18, so eight down and one carried over. 5 times 4 is 20, and the 1, 21. Now add them up. So we go 2, 7 and 8 is 15, so 5 down and 1 carried over. So I can have that here. 8 and 8 is 16, and the 1, 17. So 7 down and 1 carried over. 8 and 4 is 12 and the 1 13 so 3 down and 1 carried over 3 and 1 4 and the 1 5 and then 2 so where do i put the decimal point let's have a look we have one two decimal places in the first number one two decimal places in the second so together there are four two and two four so i'm going to go one two three four so the decimal point will need to go between five and three so this becomes 25.3752 we'll now look at dividing decimals so if you have 5.6 divided by two so we're trying to fit two into five and that fits twice and there is one remaining now, at this point where we finish with a digit and we've got a decimal point, that's when we transfer the decimal point to the answer as well. So I finish with a 5 and I transfer the zero over there, the decimal point over there after the 2. Now I've got 16, so how many 2s fit into 16? And that is 8 of them. So the answer is 2.8. So we'll now look at another example. So if we have let's say 5.64 divided by 4. So how many 4s would fit into 5? That is 1. So 1 is transferred, but don't forget we finished with a 5, so we'll transfer the decimal point to the answer. 
Now we've got fours into 16, that is four of them. So nothing remaining. And then fours into four, there is just one. So the answer is 1.41. Now, another example. So if we got 4.8 divided by 1.2. Now, this is a bit more complicated if you try and fit decimals into the number so in this particular case probably not as difficult because it's 1.2 and another 1.2 and another 1.2 and another 1.2 so four lots of them would make 4.8 but i want you to be familiar with a method so you can use it with more difficult to work with decimals so if we've got 4.8 that's been divided by 1.2 we looked at fractions before so we said that is the same as saying 4.8 over 1.2 so that line means division and that's what we're doing so that number is divided by that so in order to get rid of the decimals what i would do is i would multiply the top and the bottom number by 10 100 or a thousand so that we make them into whole numbers so to make this a whole number i need to multiply by 10 so that a decimal point would come over here at the end so to make this 48 i multiplied by 10 so i need to do the same with the denominator so times 10 that means that 1.2 turns into 12 and what have we said about fractions? If we multiply the top and the bottom number by the same number, the fraction will remain the same. So we've got an equal fraction over here. 48 over 12 is the same as 4.8 over 1.2. So now it's a bit easier for me because I can say, okay, 48 divided by 12. How many 12s will fit into 48? And that's exactly 4. So it's easy to work with the whole number. So turn them into fractions, multiply by 10, 100 or 1000, both of them, the top and the bottom number, and then just divide the whole numbers.